Welcome back to the bicycle. <laughs> After seven days of uh, four by fouring around Namibia, uh, it's uh, time to get back on the bikes and do our final leg down to uh, to Cape Town. A thousand mile sprint to the finish. Hey. What do we think of Dan's new cycling attire? <laughs> we, <laughs> we've come so far <laughs> on so many levels. Cycling is a very slippery road. <laughs> um, I think I definitely started off as, as the cyclist of the group, even though I'm not really. But, uh, yeah, I like to think I started off with some semblance of cool. Uh, I think quickly uh, with this out the window. <laughs> our first camping stop on the final leg down towards South Africa uh, we stopped at a nice uh, lake reservoir area and pretty nice campsite with um, a tap and plug and stuff and plenty of room for all our tents and yeah, should get a good night's sleep because we've got a big day on the bikes tomorrow. Another day in the life, another 200k on the bikes before sunrise. Feeling good. Just coming to Mariantel and it's super dusty, super deserted, closed, can't find any food. We've got about 180 kilometers in the legs. Yo, Dan. What's with the um? What's with the the ankle, re um, revealing? I don't know. Just getting with the 2014 program. <laughs> um, because because the stuff you you wear on the bike's not funny enough. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, you see, um, Africa destroys everything, so you've got to buy new stuff in Africa, and apparently the Africans are. Seven inches shorter than everyone else. <laughs> we were just setting off from Mariental this morning and a weird load of bike issues. I had a puncture, uh, Mary had a few loose spokes, but worst of all, Dan has got a broken rear spoke. Deja vu much? This is the wheel he had built in Zambia. And uh, yeah, so we're at a tractor place. <laughs> Um, to see if they're able to help us. So um, we're here by the old Massey Ferguson's and here's Dan's tractor in pieces once again. Yep. Hopefully we just need to get a wrench. Interestingly, the spoke that's gone this time is on the disc side rather than the drive side. So we're just looking for something to remove this baby here. Maybe just a set of mole grips or something. The night finds us in a very unexpected farm. It's kind of like a small holding with just a few animals around and it used to be a campsite. And the lovely lady here has offered us this room to sleep in. So we have uh, some beds and some drinking water and um, actually somewhere indoors to stay for the night. It's amazing how some of the best places you find are 
completely unplanned. Uh, we were looking for a wild camp on the road and instead we found a, a really nice lady and a nice campsite, disused campsite, but it has a toilet and a shower. We're about to turn off the road here um, onto the sea roads, the dirt roads, and head over towards Fish River Canyon. And we're taking um, a dirt road route through the rest of Namibia and uh, going to cross into South Africa in about five days' time.